guys. Today I'm making ginger chocolate chip bars. Oh it's also... Oh, wait, should we start over? No, it's okay. Okay. We're, <laughs> I'm making ginger chocolate chip bars. It's from the Real Simple magazine from 100 years ago that I got the key lime pie recipe from. And this one's really good too. So first what I did was I buttered or criscoed a 8 by 12. I think that's the size. Ooh. Like the regular pan that you bake stuff in. And then I have, let's see, I have one and one fourth cups light brown sugar and one and fourth cups just regular sugar. What did you do if I dropped this? Thing? Okay, let's not. Shh. And then I have Sorry. two sticks of butter I'm putting in. Oh, oh. wait, I got to get a thingy for it. Hold on. All right, so then I'm putting the butter in. Here we go. Um, and when you put it in here, it should be kind of room temperature not too melty otherwise it makes a weird consistency that's the so, mistake i always make i know it's the mistake i usually make too so here we go so i'm going to mix that up so it's nice and fluffy sorry it's gonna be kind of loud for a second oh goodness but look i have my mixer so granny lou give us that one yeah thank so, you granny lou all right so mix that so it's nice and fluffy You guys can fast forward this if you want to. That's what she said. Do you guys want to see my birthday card? And my armadillo I painted. Pretty cool, huh? That's kind of light and fluffy. Good That's enough. That's what you guys want. Good enough. <laughs> Wait, what are we making again? Okay, we're making uh, ginger chocolate chip bars. Oh, yeah. All right, and then in here, I have two and one fourth cups of flour, and then I'm going to put in two teaspoons of ground ginger. Oh. So here's my ginger. There's one. Two. There's two of the ginger. Perfect. And then we have a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I'll get my cinnamon and do about a half a teaspoon of that. Whoopsies. Half a teaspoon of cinnamon and then about a quarter teaspoon of cloves. So not that much at all of the cloves. Let me see if I can find a smaller thingy in here. Our messy drawer. So it's a fourth of a teaspoon. So I'll oh, take a, so this is a half of a teaspoon. So it's even half of that. Brilliant. So. It's about a fourth. Mm -hmm. There we go. So there, there are the cloves. And then we want one teaspoon of baking soda. So we'll put that in. And then it says about a half a teaspoon of salt, which I we usually normally don't put salt. Don't put salt but well, I don't know. Maybe it's needed in this. I don't know. I'll put it in. So there we go. So uh, we have that, and let's see. I did the butter and the sh uh, sugars in here, but I'm gonna also now add the vanilla and the eggs into the butter mixture. Eggs. So it's about a teaspoon of Can vanilla. Can I crack the eggs? Okay. Yes. All right, so there's a teaspoon of that, and then we're gonna have four large eggs. All right, let me My get the eggs. My favorite part. Okay. Eggs, 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 eggs. All right, we got we need four. Mm -hmm. Okay. Can you videotape me doing it? Sure. Okay. All right, go. Oh. oh well, <laughs> let's not crack it on there. Oh, well, that's okay. We're good. Um. Oh. You know, I thought this out better in my head. All right, I'm doing the rest. No. <laughs> no. No. One more time. One more time. One more time. All right, one more time. Oh, my hands are so gross. We need three more. Okay. Has anybody taught you how to do eggs? No. 
It's painful. Ow! Oh no! Um, <laughs> my video is going haywire. It should be four eggs. I'm doing the other two. Beep beep. You might should probably go wash your hands. So I got, I have two more to put in. Hold on. All right, so we got the four eggs in there now. Woo! No thanks to Miss Maddie. Thanks to me. Okay, four eggs, there we go. I'm gonna mix that. teaspoon of vanilla already I can tell because there's vanilla in here so we got the <laughs> vanilla in here and then I'm going to did you see the bubble <laughs> all right so then I mix come back here okay I mix the dry stuff here um, and then I'm gonna slowly put this in oh no I popped it okay it. come on okay then I put the flour mixture in here and I'm gonna mix that in this in. And we'll mix that. Oh, that's good. So we've got the butter, the flour, the ginger, the cinnamon, cloves, baking soda, salt, sugar, sugar, eggs, and vanilla. And the last thing is the best thing to put in is are the chocolate chips. So we'll put those yes. in. Yes. The best part. The whole thing? Sure. The whole thing. The whole thing. Yep. Put the whole thing in. 12 ounces. So we'll turn that on. Mix that in. I have a chocolate chip. Oh no, it's in the batter now, so you have to wait. No! There's some chocolate chips in the cupboard. You can okay. have some of those in a bit. Right. So that looks ready to go. Is it yummy? I think so. Like the dough? I hope so. There we go. I guess we can put that on there for now. Okay. Whoopsies. All right, and then we're going to put that in our Crisco pan. pan. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, and by the way, we had to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. I forgot to mention that. We never tell so them. So that's uh, 300 <laughs> At the right time. All right, so we're going to put that in. Ooh. It's kind of um, very thick. Look at that. But this is kind of a nice alternative to just regular chocolate chip cookies. And it's really yummy. And I'll have to take a picture and put it online on Facebook um, when it's done well I'll have to attach it to the video so you can see what the finished product looks like oh. but you're supposed to put it in for 40 to 50 minutes and then when it's slightly brown on the top you take it out and then you come you completely cool it and then you can cut it into about 32 bars and so it'll feed a bunch of people for a nice dessert so we'll spread that out nice and evenly I'm going to get another spoon to help us out here. Get some of that off of there. And then we spread it out. Oh, 
looks good. And this will be good with like a side of vanilla ice cream, don't you think, man? Or mint chocolate chip. And you think mm -hmm. mint chocolate mint chip chocolate would be good? Chip. I don't know, it's got cinnamon in it. All right, so I had the recipe in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. It's supposed to be in there between 40 and 50 minutes. And it's now ready to come out, so I'm going to show that to you so you can see what it looks like. Here it is in the oven. And then I'll take it out and you can see how yummy it looks. And we'll let it cool. And like I said, we'll cut it into little squares and then serve it later for dessert tonight. So let me show you what it looks like. Here we go. So that's it for the video for today. I hope you enjoy the dessert and have a good night. Take care.